Hello, I'm Zach Houston, and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. U.S. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump wins in Mississippi and Michigan. Democrat Hillary Clinton beats Bernie Sanders in Mississippi, but loses in Michigan by a small margin. Clinton now has 13 wins out of 22 contests. Trump has 14 out of 23. Trump's nearest Republican rival, Ted Cruz, beats him in Idaho, while Marco Rubio suffers another poor rating. Trump told Rubio to drop out of the race, but the senator vows to stay until his home state, Florida, votes on March 15. The Sunshine State is a major prize with 99 delegates at stake. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. Another cliffhanger in the 2016 Philippine elections. The Commission on Elections, or COMELEC, says it might postpone the May 9 polls due to limited preparation time. This after the High Court's unanimous vote requiring COMELEC to issue voter receipts. COMELEC only has about 60 days to overhaul long processes that include reconfiguring over 90,000 memory cards and retraining over 270,000 election inspectors. Commonwealth Commissioner Arthur Lim says the SC created a very difficult situation. It is on my own personal viewpoint without binding my colleagues. Yes, this will result in a derailment as of the present time of our timelines. And timelines will affect the date of the elections. That's my personal take on this. This is a very difficult situation that the Supreme Court has created for the country. The poll body earlier voted 7-0 against the receipts, saying it can be used for electoral fraud and prolonged voting time. A survey shows Vice President Jeju Marbinai will gain the most votes among presidential bets if Senator Grace is disqualified from the race. The ABS-CBN Commission Pulse Asia survey conducted February 16 to 27 shows Poe and Binai at a statistical tie at the top with 26 and 24%. Followed by Davao City Mayor Rudy Duterte with 22% and Administration Standard Bearer Mar Rojas with 19%. Pulse Asia President Ronald Holmes says 32% of Pulse original voters will vote for Binay if she doesn't pursue her bid. On the vice presidential race, Senators Chis Escudero and Bongbong Marcos share the lead at 26%. Camarina Sur Representative Lenny Robredo follows with 18% and Senator Alan Caetano with 13%. Binay's running mate Senator Gringo Hanasan and Senator Antonio Trillanes trail behind with 6 and 5 percent respectively. anti graft court Sandigan Bayan issues a whole departure order or HDO against dismissed Makati Mayor Junjun Binay and others charged with him. Binay faces two counts of graft and six counts of falsification of documents. The former mayor says the latest order is just part of the procedure after he posted bail amounting to 204,000 pesos on February 26. Sandigan Bayan confirms the HDO was released March 2. Ombudsman Conchito Carpio Morales dismissed Binay in October 2015 over alleged overpricing of the Makati City Hall Building 2. Legendary Beatles producer George Martin dies Wednesday at 90 years old. The cause of death has not been released. Beatles drummer Ringo Starr confirms the news on Twitter and sends good wishes. While John Lennon's son, Sean, also writes a short tribute on Instagram. Top personalities led by UK Prime Minister David Cameron also expressed condolences on social media, including Lenny Kravitz and Liam Gallagher. Martin, often called the fifth Beatle, signed the band into the Parlophone label in 1962 and turned them into global stars. And that was your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Zach Huson. Remember, tomorrow begins today.